Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Basel fans. Now, welcome here to Japan. This is B League Basketball as the Chiba Jets will be hosting La Venga Hokkaido in this crucial matchup in the Central Division of this season's 2023-24 B-League season. Well, good morning to all of our Basel fans watching all over the world. I'm your commentator, Josh Bed, and again, bringing you the live-action Chiba Jets at the moment, having to bounce back from a very tough start to the season. And as it stands, it looks like they'll be competing for the wild card to get back into the playoffs. Well, again, fans, as you can imagine, this is going to be a very close encounter between two teams that are going to be fighting for a spot, of course. La Venga Hokkaido, it's been a very tough year for them. Again, featuring some exciting players. There are your standings currently in the Eastern Conference here in the B-League. DJ Steffens of Chiba Jets, the dunk champion of this season's All-Star Game. And some of the key lineups that are featuring Alvira Brown, not to mention the likes of John Mooney. Well, Aaron Brown, of course, the naturalized player who has featured for the Japanese national team, but he'll be playing alongside the general. Well, not the man of quite there I was talking about, but Yuki Togashi. And there is one of their other key players here for the Chiba Jets, a player that definitely needs to make sure he has a good night from the perimeter. I mean, this is a three-point shooting team. No doubt, of course, Shutahara, as you just saw there, tying his shoes. We'll definitely have to have a big game here tonight. Some of the key players you want to look out for, the likes of their Americans, Daryl Willis, Thomas Welsh, but it's all about St. Dwight Ramos, the Gillis Pilipinas international player for La Venga Hokkaido. Well, here are some of the highlights from the previous game here for the Chiba Jets. The Jets, of course, he mentioned going up to a tough start this season. He could turn this one around very quickly. Not getting into the top five of their position so far, but they will have to make sure they try and compete for the play-ins. Yeah, so definitely some exciting players for this team, of course, no doubt. Ren Kanachika. Well, Kanachika, as we mentioned, he was the last time they played Lavenga Hokkaido. Well, Hokkaido's problem has been consistency. There's definitely a lot of talent in this team, but for them to be a competitor in the Japanese B League, they got to make sure it becomes team basketball. So momentarily, we are going to introduce the players for tonight's game. We'll be showing you the local entertainment here in just outside of Tokyo, the beautiful city of Chiba. Well, he's taking the B-League by storm this season. That is Ren Kanechika. Is now we're getting set now to introduce the players for tonight's game. So please enjoy the local entertainment.
The Storm Rider for your Chiba Jack. The MTA Yuki Togashi. The M10 Xavier Cook. The M31 Shuto Well, there you start in lineups for these two teams tonight. Again, Ira Brown, the veteran player, who will be coming into the lineup here tonight for the Chiba Jets. And now he gets set for this epic game, this epic matchup in which... Well, now we're going to introduce the starting five for Lavenga Hakaido first, for that matter. And you can see coming out of their lineup, Ryoto Sakurai will be in the starting five, along with number 40, Thomas Walsh, the big man. Not to mention the likes of the other import players who will be featuring Ren Shimatani, the Japanese player, will come into the lineup tonight. So it does look like St. Dwight Ramos will be coming off the bench for La Vega Hokkaido. Well, tempo in this game is going to be crucial. Well, there he matchups tonight, Yuki Togashi. He's going to have a matchup here against Ren Shimatane. And as I mentioned, Daryl Willis, Thomas Welsh, both players featuring Kohei Sekino. And number 11, Ryoto Sakurai. Well, both teams featuring very big lineups, to say the least. But, you know, one thing you have to anticipate is Chiba Jets. They are going to play relentless defense all night long. That is very trademark of a John Patrick basketball team, regardless whether he's in Japan or in Europe. Well, you saw DJ Stephens, the Japanese B-League dunk champion. There's the counterattack here from the Chiba Jets. Xavier Cooks will be partnering with John Mooney in the starting line of Shutahara in the backcourt as well. Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, Basel fans. Welcome. This is B-League Basketball. Chiba Jets are going to get this one underway. Well, welcome to Chris Dellis Young. Go Papa Dwight. Chris Dellis Young, of course, one of the MVP fans of Japanese B-League Basketball. Also, Gashi being heavily defended. And now Hara here on the ball. Shoot to Hara getting a push off. No foul calls. No good for the mid-range. Well, for those watching live here for Dwight Ramos, he will be coming off the bench this evening. Go St. Dwight. Love that, Chris Dellis Young. St. Dwight, as we just mentioned, will be that kind of option. So then the Hokkaido getting a wide open three in the corner. It's up, and it's good. Well, Roto, Ruta Sakurai nailing the three-pointer. Well, of course, if you are familiar with Japanese basketball, you'll know that the Chiba Jets do play in the East Asia Super League. So they do have significantly more games than most of their opponents this season, as do the Ruku Golden Kings. Well, Magandan, hop on to Christelle Sion. Again, basketball fans, if you'd like a shout out, please let us know where you're currently watching this game in the world, which team you're supporting. I'll do my best to give everybody a shout out here this evening. Yeah, she penetrates, draws a foul, he'll go to the free throw line. It's a strong move by the Japanese national team player. Well, two teammates there for the Japanese national team. Ira Brown, remember, the American naturalized Japanese superstar. Two shots.
Oh, Yuki Togashi making the first free throw. And that's going to be a very interesting matchup. Thomas Walsh to see how he goes up against the formidable John Mooney. John Mooney, one of the best bigs here in the Japanese B League and probably one of the best import players. Remember, Chiba need the victory more so tonight. Unable to get in the top two of the Eastern Conference and quite a few games off, but they can't play for the wild card. Lorango Hakeido go for another three-pointer. Unable to get this. Now Togashi trying to push. Three in transition, it's up, and it's good. Well, Yuki Togashi. That's what this man does best. Well, welcome to Genesis IO. Let's go, Dwight. Let's make them believe. Of course, Dwight Ramos will make his introduction at some point this evening. And that's good defense on the pick and roll by the Chiba Jets. Shutahara chasing the ball handler, Naira Brown, defending the roller. Willis attacks the basket, makes the contact, and just lays that one off the backboard. Tough move by Darrell Willis. He's definitely showed a lot of promise this season with Lavanga Hokkaido. And as we mentioned, his team, the issue they've had so far has been the consistency. Well, coming into the game, the young rising star, Ren Kanachika. A lot of promise about this young man, of course. And what he can offer and what he can apply to his team. Who do you go for the mid-range? No ready. Chiba Jets coming out like a house on fire. And that's what John Mooney does best. Well, shout out to Jose Reyes. Actually from Taipei. Welcome, brother. Willis got it by Xavier Cooks. Well, Vanga Hockey going for another deep three-point and count this one. Well, both teams trying to get things going from the perimeter. Second three-pointer of the night here for Lavanga Hakaida's Kohei Sakino. Well, nice penetration as Togashi time goes down the middle. Well, he is an absolute nightmare to defend. Lightning quick, very strong, but also smooth touch around the basket. Darrell Willis just bullies his way to the bucket. Xavier Cook struggling defensively. As the penetration goes out of bounds, but I think that's going to go back to Lavanga Hakaido. So, as that she shoot to Hara, my apologies. Well, here comes high flying dunk champion DJ Steffens. If you watch the B League All Star game, this man has no limits. And any slam dunk he does. Spent a couple of seasons playing for a Ukrainian basketball team, Promete, featured in the Basketball Champions League and then in the Euro Cup before deciding to come to Japan to play for John Patrick's Chiba Jets. Has a pull for the mid range. <laughs> Not quite sure if Moody tipped that one in or if that did get the lucky draw on it. Togashi running around ball screens. Patient offense here from the Jets. Hara fakes the pass, goes up. Are you kidding me? Oh, shoot to Hara. They say this man is an off guard. I'd say he's a combo on this one. Show me the replay of this. I mean, look at this. Comes off the ball screen with John Mooney. Shimmies, fakes the pass. That is B-E-A. Beautiful play by the Japanese national team player. Timeout now here to Lavanga Hokkaido. They trail. Well, excuse me, they lead by one point. Well, Jose Reyes, did I watch the game of Dwight Howard representing the Philippines in the Dubai tournament? Unfortunately, Jose Reyes, I would love to have seen that game, but it's currently now 6-17 in the United Kingdom. I've just only got out of bed an hour ago, but I heard Dwight Ra Howard. Well, t tell, me, tell me in the uh, live YouTube chat how it went. So we show you now some of the key highlights here from the first quarter. Early three-pointer coming in the corner from Roto Sakurai.
going to be Lavenga. Hawkeye the bowl. Still leading by a slender one point at the moment. Oh, has time and space. Left wide open. Finds a three and again. Nails that one. Oh, where was the defense? Nowhere to be seen around him. As Ren Shimatane, 23 years of age, stands at 175 centimeters. Chiba trying to go to that pick and roll. Another deep three goes wishing. Willis comes up with a rebound. Willis may have just got away with a backdoor back door violation. The foul has been called. Willis thought about the three-pointer. Pulls up from 18. Welsh maybe getting away with a push in the back as now DJ Steffens secures the rebound. Chiba still trying to assert their dominance here on offense. And Chiba just throws up a poor contested three-pointer. Well, young player's got to learn. You got to get into the offense. You got to make the defense commit. And if you're going to take those kind of three-pointers, you got to make them. It's as simple as that because it's a low percentage three-pointer for sure. minutes left here in the first quarter. Walsh catches off the ball screen. Willis caught a double team. Goes up. And again, the big man. He is just too big. Too strong and simply just too good for Darrell Willis. Well, again, there's a lot of promise about Darrell Willis, but it's about finding the winning formula for the Lavanga Hokkaido. Stephens fries a three. He just can't get it. Six-point lead to Lavanga Hokkaido. Shimatani goes in at the moment. Lavanga Hakaida come to Tokyo. And they are just dominating this game on both ends of the floor. John Patrick, I think he's seen enough. I mean, look at Shimatani. Nobody picks him up. Slow help side recovery defense. And that's just not acceptable. Well, welcome to our fan from the Philippines, Yina Ala Padilla. Welcome, Yina. Let us know where you're watching from so we can also let us know which team are you supporting? Are you supporting the Chiba Jets or are you supporting La Venga Hokkaido? Well, it's the biggest lead so far here in the first quarter with 4.30 to go, an eight-point ball game. Christellis Young, I got to ask the same question, what's happening? But, you know, you got to remember, Chiba had a new team from last season. Vic Law, of course, going to root through Golden Kings, but Stephens goes in, draws a foul, and he'll go to the free throw line. But you have to remember as well, every week Chiba Jets are playing in the East Asia Super League. No doubt, of course, that adding more games is already a very busy schedule in the Japanese B-League. Well, DJ Steffens, as we mentioned, already winning the dunk competition. Went to the University of Memphis, leaving in 2013. I mean, he played all over Europe, Euroleague. 
playing in France, playing some very, very top leagues for that matter. Right, so coming to the Chiba Jets was featuring for Ukrainian club team Promete that featured in the Euro Cup. Well, shout out to MAWU rooting full of anger to get the W today. Go St. Dwight Ramos. Welcome to Ramon Yokohama versus Osaka. Jose Reyes talking about the game in Dubai, of course. Philippines 82, UAE 66. Dwight Howard, 14.6 rebounds. Nice one. Rex Salonga. Welcome, brother. Seven point lead to Lavanga Hokkaido. Dwight Ramos checking into the game for the first time. Now, can they build something here, Chiba? Shoot to Hari going ball screen, but he's either cooking another turnover. Well, they turn it right back over. Very good defense, though, coming from Lavanga Hokkaido. Well, look, watch, watch Shuto Terezono. Chases the ball screen, then switches last minute because he knows Darrell Willis is there. That's intelligent defense. But can she even get something from their offense? So Gashi going for a tough step back. Three is up. Oh my goodness! It is so Gashi time already. Well, the veteran Japanese national team player. This man has no limits on his confidence. Ramos ball in the corner. White goes in, attacks, gets the AM1, and St. Dwight Ramos will go to the free. Oh no, excuse me, my apologies. That is not Dwight Ramos. Well, Ramos made the pass, of course, but beautiful play by Yuta Matsushita. Well, Matsushita now, chance to extend the lead. Three fifteen to go here in the first quarter. Six-point ball game. Lavanga Hokkaido at the bottom of the Eastern Conference. Chiba Jets in third place. The way the season is going, they're gonna have to try to compete. Well, nice post but he misses a wide-open look. So Xavier Cooks gets his own rebound. The putback is good. And that's what John Patrick wants to see. A little bit of fight, a little bit of urgency in his team. Penetration, another foul has been committed, so Matsushita will go the free throw line. <sighs> Not much contact there, but the problem is, is the, it's just the defense at the moment here from Chiba Jets. Oh, well, the foul is going to be called on number 25, Gaku Arao. Well, very interesting change here. They just brought Dwight Ramos in. And now they've just subbed him right back out. I don't know if it's a case of preservation, injury. I don't know, but... Togashi made his last three. Goes for another one. This man starting to cook it up early on. Yuki Togashi serving it up from the perimeter at the moment. Well, it was indeed a nine-point ball game. Now it is only just a one-possession lead. Another turnover now. DJ Staffords comes up with it. Full screen here with Tagashi, and that's going to be a kickball violation, so Chiba will get it back. 18 on the shot clock. Thomas Welsh coming into the game for Darrell Willis. And John Mooney and Ira Brown, the naturalized, naturalized Japanese player. Second back in for event for the Chiba Jets, my apologies. Again, so Gashi's just cooking it up here tonight. Well, as John Patrick likes to call him the sheriff, he leads by example, sets the tempo. And if you know something about Yuki Togashi, he is the first ever 
Japanese million dollar play, correct. First player in Japanese B League who is Japanese to sign a million dollar contract. Well, currently the free throw line, Shuto Terazono here for Lavenga Hakaido. Lavenga Hokkaido just leading again by a slender two points. It's going to go out of bounds, but that's going to remain Chiba Jets' ball. Kanachika just struggling to break down the defense by Tsukasa Nakano. Trying to find Togashi. He's been on fire. Another three, and again, are you kidding me? Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, Yuki is cooking 18 points already here in the first quarter. There is no stopping this man at the moment. Well, then the Hakaida responding with another three pointer. Puts him back in front as Yuta Matsushita. Just under 80 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Togashi 4 3, surely not. Again, are you kidding me? Yuki Togashi, this guy is unconscious. 21 points here in the first quarter. Well, you got to think he's going to go for another three-pointer. Togashi, surely not five. Oh, baby! Ima Nanji, it is Togashi time. Five three-pointers for Yuki Togashi. Well, get ready for the FIBA Asian Cup qualifiers. Because Togashi's going to be firing it up for the Japanese national team. And we have a cookout at the moment. What is going on? Nobody is missing a three-pointer. Well, somebody explain to me what we are witnessing. What are we watching? Because Sugashi's firing five three pointers, but also Lavenga Hakaido making it rain. It is incredible today. Let I gotta agree with you. Nah, surely not six. Well, finally just cooled down, but you gotta think the confidence he had going. Of course, he's gonna keep firing three pointers. What's well, going to be the final shot here for Lavenga Hokkaido? Ten left here in the first quarter. Got to get something going now. Tenazono penetrates, steps through. Final shot doesn't get it. Well, Basel fans, end of the first quarter. It has been a three-point parade led by that man Yuki Togashi. Five three-pointers already here in the first quarter. Well, we'd like to welcome our fans watching live on YouTube. Welcome to L.E.T. Welcome to Mao Genesis I.O. Oh, Genesis I.O. Genesis I.O., excuse me. That is a very tough question. Welcome to Ade Rindra. And also welcome to Dwight and Rex. And everybody currently watching live on the B-League YouTube.
Well, again, welcome everybody watching live on the YouTube chat. Welcome to Mary Grace Anal and welcome to Kawhi Potatoes. So, Gashi at the moment, five three pointers already here in the first quarter. It's simply been so Gashi time in so far. And the foul has been drawn against DJ Stephens, so the ball will be going back here to Lavanga well, Hakaido. They're going to get two free throws. Well, the foul is on Ira Brown, actually. Well, the free throw has been made. So Dwight's house, who's the best player that came come out of the UK? Well, that's going to be Luol Deng, no doubt. What's the meaning of Sugoi? Means incredible, amazing, fantastic, I guess. One point lead to Lavenga Hokkaido. Yeah, she's made five threes. Maybe just cool down at the moment. This is last two, but at the moment it's still a one point lead to Lavenga Hokkaido. Anticipation by John Mooney because that's going to be a wide open dunk for Thomas Welsh. Lavanga Hokkaido will get this on the baseline. All change coming in for the Chiba Jets is Fumio Nishimura. Checking into the game for the first time tonight. Going to try another three. Both teams just struggling a little bit here from the perimeter. J. Stephens secures a rebound. Nishimura penetrates, goes up, just can't finish it. Welsh with a rebound. Lavanga Hawkeye still leading by a slender one point, trying to build that momentum. And it's going to be the legal screen, another costly turnover. Well, this one was set by DeMond Brooks. Let's have a look at the replay. Well, I don't know. Unless he made some movement with his right arm. I mean, he was rock solid still. Moody penetrates, goes off the backboard, and that's going to be a mismatch against Thomas Welsh. John Moody went to the University of Notre Dame, was a fighting Irish back in university. This is good ball movement here from Lavanga Hokkaido. Can they build a wide open look? Nishi Moore just anticipates on defense, that goes out of bounds. Remain Lavenga Hokkaido ball on the baseline. So, Dwight, OG Anuobi second to all dang. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, OG Anuobi was born in the United Kingdom. I think he left when he was three years old. Trying to go off the backboard, can't get it. I got another one you. Ben Gordon, the former Chicago Bulls player. He was born in London as well, but. He moved to the USA, I think, when he was a child. So there's another play for you as well. Well, nice post up by Rand County. Chica just taking it in the low block. Genesis Io, I got to agree with you. I don't know if it's an injury or something, but we did see him temporarily in the first quarter. Tanner on the shot clock. Got to get something going now to pull up for another three. Both teams cooling down here in the second quarter. While Cooks penetrates, nowhere to go. Kind of cheeky looking to attack, finds John Moody. Moves in a little teardrop, gets his own rebound. Keeps this one alive, Chiba. A little bit of momentum, Cooks goes in the lane now. Again, nothing but that with a baby hook. Little teardrop. 
That's what you like to see there from the Chiba Jets. Big players fighting for offensive boards, but also making things happen with inside the paints. What's well, another costly turnover now? Kenny Chica, he's got Moody behind the back, and again, way too casual. And that is going to infuriate John Patrick. Brooks trying to post up it. Gets a contact, but the foul is going to be called on the ground. Olavenga Hakaido trailing by five points. Welsh goes in. Pick and roll scenarios. Got to keep going for them tonight. 27 years of age, just over seven foot tall. Yeah, she look at the penetrate. Goes in, a little floater. Tries to get the ad one, but he'll go to the free throw line. Well, you can see now the defense very reactive every time he has the ball in his hands. The foul has been committed by Ren Shimatane. Two shots. It's amazing when you make five three-pointers in one quarter, and all of a sudden, once you just turn off a little bit, just see the momentum swiftly drifting away from Togashi, but he'll get it back, no doubt. Shimitani almost turning it over. Oh, again, the defense by Togashi. The dime is just too much. Cooks can't save it. And that goes out of bounds. You can see John Patrick just saying, hey, come on, let's slow things down here. We got the momentum. But you gotta give credit to Togashi. He's had to switch on defense on the pick and roll, but he was ended up defending Devon Brooks, but quickly switches, and that's what led to the turnover. Ball's trying to bully his way inside. Good defense by. Well, I think John Moody may have just taken a shot there because he must have been a bit of pain. Well, he looks a little bit concerned, but Dwight Ramos is fit to play. Put him in the game, coach. And they try another three. Can't get it. Welsh gets another offensive rebound. Good defense by Xavier Cooks. The sweat Shiba needs to build that momentum, assert their authority, but you got to take care of the basketball. Togashi off another screen, look at the three, number six, and you bet he can get it. Yuki Togashi, six, and I'll say again, six three pointers here in the first half. Seven point lead to the Chiba Jets. has been called again, Shuto Hada. Well, we got a timeout now with 4.45 to go. These two teams want to talk it over, but Chiba have turned this game around in the second quarter.
Well, Genesis IO question, do you, fam are you familiar? Yes, I know Sam Decker, yeah. So I was working, so I also commentate for the British Basketball League. I cover a lot of games. Last season, I was only with the London Lions. So, yes, I met Sam Decker on many occasions. Very nice guy and a great basketball player. Well, Darrell Willis coming back into the game now. Has featured the last few minutes, but he's got to try and find a bit of rhythm and momentum because it's the biggest lead of the game for the Chiba Jets. Now, remember, the B-League is split into three conferences, West, East, and Central. The top two teams will automatically qualify for the playoffs, which makes six positions. And then they give a wild card to the two final teams who have strong records, and that's what Chiba's going to have to go for this year. A nice penetration by Ren Shimatane. Well, the thing for Lavenga Hokkaido, they've got to keep this in single digits. Moody goes in, gets rejected. Well, Darrell Willis, great block. Foul has to be called now. Lavenga Hokkaido, they want a shooting foul call, but. Why oh, did he call it or not? Let's have a look here. Well, look at the rejection. Willis says, get out of here. Pins him off the backboard like a magnet on the refrigerator. Oh, yeah, they've called free throws. So it's a shooting foul. Well, that means it's going to be three free throws. Well, the question was, was he in the act of shooting when the foul was made? Well, as the great Rashid Wallace would say, the ball don't lie. There's still going to be two more free throws coming up here for Ren Shimatane. Well, the ball don't lie again. Two missed free throws. Well... Honesty is a bliss, I guess. Now we cut it down to a two-point ball game, but how much of a confidence knockoff is that going to be? Is three number seven? So actually unable to get it. Welsh with a rebound. Well, Banga Hakka either trying to trip into this one. Again, they've got to create high percentage looks. Trying to go in the corner to go for another three. And another foul has been committed. So another three free throws. Coming up here for Lavenga Hokkaido. I don't think I've ever seen that in pro basketball. Well, currently the free throw line, Kohei Sakino. If he's able to make all three of these free throws, it will make it just a two point deficit. He makes the second one. Makes all three, Lavenga Hokkaido trying to hang in there at the moment. Shutahara now playing in the backcourt along with Ruta Sakurai. He'll pull up for three. He'll take it. He'll fire it. Shiba Jets, they have come out like a house on fire tonight. Well, it's a 
Just exchanging field goals back and forth between these two teams. Well, Willis, he'll fire three cap both teams. This has now officially become the basketball stock exchange market. The question is going to be who has the higher interest rate at the end of this game? He's looking for the M1, but the foul was clearly was made way before he got into the one-two step. Fouls on Thomas Welsh and DJ Steffens checking back into the game for the Chiba Jets. John Patrick just having a discussion with the referee. Coming back into the game, Yuta Matsushita here for Lavenga Hokkaido. Goes down low, Moody makes a contact and oh, impossible. You know, wheelie around the hoop as it refuses to obey the laws of gravity. That's a better pick and roll scenario. Wells just wasn't able to recover in time, Moody. Unable to get the at one due to the help side defense of Darrell Willis, number 21 for Lavanga Hokkaido. Well, timeout now as these two teams want to talk it over. 2.46 to go, Chiba Jets leading by two points. Well, shout out to Mackie Butler. How does game selection work for the stream and how can I watch other games? Well, Mackie, there isn't really so, uh, a league pass to say here for Japanese B-League basketball. It's selection based on which games they decide to put out on YouTube. Well, John Mooney currently at the free throw line here. Second season playing for the Chiba Jets. What an addition he has been already to this team. Well, Basel fans currently watching live at the moment. San and Neo Phoenix currently with a big lead against the Fighting Eagles of Nagoya. Oh, Mackie Butler, anytime, brother. Like I said, if you got any questions, just hit me up online. Another pick and pop three pointer by Darrell Willis. Mackie Butler, Japanese B League basketball. It's fun, isn't it? Very exciting lead. Howard goes in, avoids the block. He's just gone to the ground. Hopefully, he's okay. John Patrick doesn't want any more injuries. This team has to still feature in the East Asia Super League. And as we already mentioned, it's a tough schedule for them. Yeah, so you know, good league, but supplying a lot more games on this Japanese B-League. And an offensive foul called against Thomas Welsh. That's just hungry defense by DJ Steffens. Steffens just chasing. Shoot the Tadazano everywhere he goes. Not making life easy for him, for sure.
this is another penetration. Howard goes up, and again, this man taking over this game, getting inside the paints. Well, the veteran, 30 years of age, has featured for the Japanese national team. Ninety seconds to go here in the first half. Willis crossing over, twisting, turning, goes up, and again, a smooth play. But you got to think right now, Lavenga Hokkaido having to work for every single bucket. It's not coming easy due to the formidable defense of the Chiba Jets. Well, Hara losing control of it. Welsh comes up with a loose ball now. Willis trying to push this one, goes in, and back-to-back -back buckets, a 4-0 run for Lavenga Hokkaido. Well, that's one way to convert the turnovers quickly into transition points. Gashi six threes. Can he make it seven? Only one so far here, and a potential now two for one. Oh, they turn it right back over. Again, shoot to Hara. Relax the day, Scalera. Willis baseline goes up, gets rejected. Only get a wide open three. It's up, and it's good. And now it's just a one point ball game. Well, Lavanga Hokkaido on a 7 0 run with 24 seconds left. John Patrick's called timeout. He wants to talk it over. Well, great block here by John Mooney. I didn't have to do too much, to be honest, but wide open three-pointer by Yuta Matsushita-san. Sugoi. Final 24 seconds left. Well, we have a question now from Mawu. May I ask how many players from Chiba Jets are from the Japanese national team? I believe at the moment, you got two current players of Shutahara and this man, Yuki Togashi. Now remember, Ira Brown, the naturalized American, he's also featured for the Japanese national team in various Asia Cups and FIBA World Cup qualifiers, but... If you need the Japanese B-League, so many naturalized players. Kind of cheek it down the middle, goes up, gets rejected. Now, Lavenga Hakeido's got a bit of time here. Only force of a wild one, doesn't get it. Well, Basel fans, end of the first half. Lavenga Hakeido made a bit of a comeback, a 7-0 run to finish. Nature L by one point. Chiba lead this, 50-49. to Well, welcome everybody. I'm your commentator. Josh Bed, the most obnoxious commentator I've been called before. But again, don't let that put you away. This is an exciting game of basketball. It is halftime. Go get a drink. Go get something to eat. But don't go anywhere too long as we will be back in just under 15 minutes. Japanese B-League basketball, an East Conference battle between the Chiba Jets and Lavenga Hokkaido.
Welcome back, Basel fans, as we relive the events of the first half here between the Chiba Jets and Lavanga Hokkaido. It is a one-point ball game. Well, it's fair to say it's been a three-point cookout here between these two teams. Yuki Togashi, five of those in the first quarter. Well, hello, everybody. We'd like to welcome you back. And again, if you'd like a shout-out, let us know where you're watching or which team you're supporting. Are you supporting Chiba Jets? Or are you supporting, indeed, Lavanga Hokkaido? Also, key plays happen. I mean, here was some of the three-pointers by Yuki Togashi. He was on fire. This man's confidence is limitless. Well, if he's open, he'll take any shot he likes on the floor. In the case of Yuki Togashi, you got to stay with this guy because he will get a shot off in any pressure situation. Well, it was a good response of both these two teams. Lavenga Hokkaido, they went up by nine, and then Chiba went up by eight. And now it's just a one-point ball game. It was a three-pointer. Nailed by Ryota Sakurai. Oh, my apologies. That is actually Fumio Nishimura. Darrell Willis, the import player, getting one of his three pointers early on. Well, you got to think this game could go right down to the wire. Willis, this was the beginning of the 7 0 run to finish the first half. And anytime you have a big man that runs the floor, the rejection, but the wide open three pointer beautifully. Tucked away. And that cut it down to the one-point deficit we do currently have here at the moment. That was Yuta Matsushita. Whoa, you got six three-pointers from Chiba Jets. All six have been made and taken by Yuki Togashi. Well, it's actually eight. My apologies. Can't combine total at the moment. 15 three-pointers. I guess the one telling factor at the moment has been the rebounds. Both teams currently locked in. That's why they're currently only one point difference between both of them. It's going to be the question of who gets out to a good run here in the third quarter. Probably something we're going to see a lot more from both of these two teams is a little bit of inside paint action. Thomas Welsh, number 40 for the Lavanga Hokkaido. Five rebounds so far. Xavier Cooks, he has five. But they need to find a way to get those guys in the game. 28 points already for Yuki Togashi. Well, shout out to Sid Gars, currently watching in Vancouver, British Columbia, just drinking with some Tim Hortons. That better be a double-double, my friend. And you better be having a farmhouse wrap. I'm just kidding. Tim Hortons, the go-to whenever you're in Canada. I'm actually on my way to Canada at the end of February to see my family, but I'll be in Ontario, Canada. Toronto, excuse me. Well, the Chiba Jet fans, again, it's been a bit of a tough season for them. They've had to feature in the East Asia Super League, which has only added more games to their already busy schedule here in the Japanese B-League. If you are new to B-League basketball, it's split into three conferences, East, West, and Central. The top two teams in each division will qualify automatically for the playoffs. That leaves with you six teams, while the final two positions... Go to the teams with the best record after that, which is known as the wild card. And that's probably something Chiba Jets are going to have to fight for this season. Well, 28 points for Yuki Tsugashi. He has been on fire so far. He's going to have to remain on fire if they're going to leave with a victory tonight, that's for sure. Same goes for Lavenga Hokkaido. I mean, they've got to find a way. 
Well, there is Dwight Ramos suited up, and I, I imagine at the moment it's probably injury precaution because he hasn't featured a lot in this game, if anything at all. Welcome back, everybody. Second half about to get underway. But we saw the other game, the Goya losing to 30 Ravenna, Santa Neo Phoenix. Incredible turnaround for the Santa Neo Phoenix. And there's a big to pop as Moody goes for three, and that's way off the mark. Not quite the start they would have wanted here in the second half, but they're going to have to do it defensively. Well, back to Hokkaido with a chance here to take the lead. Oh, they're going to call a foul here. Wow. Fouls against Fumio Nishimura. Number 11 for Chiba Jets. Well, that's definitely the right call for sure. You can see clearly grabs the arm. Well, Basel fans watching us live on YouTube, let us know where you're watching, which team you're supporting, so we can give you a shout out. We're currently live here in the Japanese B League. Shiba Jets against Lavenga Hokkaido. Trying to go for a floater, can't get it. Cooks with a rebound now. Jets looking to reassert themselves. Aaron down the lane makes a pass. Cooks gets fouled, so he'll be going to the free throw line. Again, we talked about this trying to go down low into the paints. It's a nice little give, well, pick and roll sequence there between Cooks and Shutahara. Well, Xavier Cooks, the Australian international, did feature for the Washington Wizards in the NBA. But the Winthrop University, leaving in 2018, started with the Illawarra Hawks. Also played in Germany, for that matter, as well, for Würzburg. Anybody knows anything about Würzburg? That is the hometown of the great Dirk Nowitzki. He only makes one free throw at the moment. Two-point lead to... Chiba. Well, penetration's made to get a wide open look in the corner. Too much time and space we get. Sinks that one. Orota Sakurai. No problem from the corner. Well, then Hokkaido regaining the lead in a foul. Well, no fouls called. Six reaches to the gash, he goes for another one. Again, he only made one in the second quarter. After five in a row in the first. Well, he made his last one. Takes a world time to get it off, but can't get it to go. Those are the ones you gotta knock down, they're wide open. And try another three. Oh, we got Thomas Welsh out there. Why not throw the ball down low once in a while? Mix up the offense. Now Chiba looking to regain the lead. Hara goes in too much. The follow-up by John Moody. Well, he puts his hands up in protest. He wants the Amwa, but nothing's going to be called. And John Patrick just says, it's all right. We got the lead. We're going to get this one back. Welsh being heavily defended. Down the lane goes up, throws it down with two hands. Daryl Willis was just waiting for that opportunity. These two teams exchanging buckets, going right back and forth at each other. 
Nishimura penetrates. Power left wide open. Three is up. Rattles its way in and out. Good rotation defense by Hokkaido. Again, they turn it right back over. Lyra Brown, the naturalized Japanese player, born in the United States of America, but again, he does have a Japanese passport. He has featured and represented the Japanese national team in FIBA international competitions. Kanachika holds on to the ball too long. Brown nowhere to go. Time winding down for Tugashi. That's the force of a tough three. It's up, no good. Well, he's ice cold so far since making his sixth one. 28 points, remember, for Yuki Togashi. Well, should have been a trip call, but it's a turnover in the end for Darrell Willis. Back to back turnovers. Home crowd protested. They wanted a foul called. Right there. That's a foul to me. Chiba looking to retake the lead. Float is up and it's good. Oh, nice penetration down the middle. Asato Ogawa. Finds Willis. Willis got it heavily by Ira Brown. Pick up off here, Willis. He's made one three. That's way off the mark. Good defense by DJ Steffens. Well, Staffings is going to get called for the offensive foul. He felt there was a trip there, not so much a push, but possession's going back to Lavanga Hockey. Let's look at the replay here. Ah, it's a good call. Excellent decision by the referee. So a five and a half to go here in the third quarter. Again, nothing dropping here for Lavenga Hokkaido. Well, they are struggling offensively. Yeah, she's trying to hesitate. Nowhere to go here. Gawa penetrates. Puts it the float again. Oh, Gawa! Back to back field goals for him and a 4 0 run for Chiba. Shita here on the ball, trying to orchestrate something for Lavenga Hokkaido's offense. And it's a turnover here from Dwight Ramos. Well, Rex Salong has asked the question, is Dwight hurt? I don't know. He hasn't featured too much this evening, but another change coming in for Lavenga Hokkaido. Shuto Terazono's in the game. Another turnover here for Chiba. Again, yeah, Chiba's consistency tonight definitely coming to question. This one's going to be called against Ira Brown. Brown just getting called for the illegal screen. Well, here comes Dwight Ramos coming up one ball screen. Another turnover. Just one too many for Lavenga Hokkaido. Booty down the middle, goes up, throws it down with two hands. Oh, 
Well, timeout's going to be called by Lavenga Hokkaido because now it is a five-point lead to the champions of 2021, the Chiba Jets. And that's just way too predictable. Hokkaido okay, Lavenga need to build something in their offense. It's going to be another turnover. And again, they are choking under intense pressure. Sublime defense coming from that man. Oh, Sato Ogawa's come on the floor and he's just given some energy minutes to Chiba. Going to the free throw line. It's his first point here in the second half. He's got 29 this evening. See, he misses the second one. Well, he simply just got to step up and make these free throws here for the Chiba Jets. Six point lead. Well, again, it's actually coming up with a steal, but it's taken right back. Good recovery by Lavenga Hokkaido. Now, can they get something here? Walsh goes up, and the big man finishes, and that will calm the nerves down. Well, Mooney's got the mismatch, and the house is going to be called. That's a great job by Mooney identifying. Had the mismatch, and the foul has been given. Oh, you keep going in and going to work at that point. That's what you want to see from Tagashi, a bit of variety in his offense. The three's not dropping, you got to mix it up. goes in gets rejected oh DJ Stephens elevated nice pass again end-to-end -end action well, I want to see the replay of DJ Stephens blocking me that was monumental nice he put away there that will calm their nerves down yet again well, Vanga Hokkaido, they need to be consistent. So yeah, she's trying to initiate contact, looking for Mooney. Yeah, she goes for another three and made that number seven for Yuki Togashi. Well, he wasn't going to stay cold forever. 34 points for Yuki Togashi. Foul has been called. Ready, 
So Gashi time. Maybe he's going to start cooking up again. We don't know. We'll find out. Well, Shutahara coming back in the game here for the Chiba Jets. Three-point lead. Ramos pulls up for a three at St. Dwight. Well, that's probably the first attempt he's had this evening. Now you can see it's just going all a little bit too cold at the moment here for Lavenga Hokkaido. Nice backdoor play goes up. Nice finish. Biggest lead of the game now for Chiba. 140 to go here in the third quarter. It's going to be a timeout. These two teams are going to talk it over. Well, Brown almost lost control of it. Simple down low bounce pass in the finish. Two help side defenders, but no problem for Fumio Nishimura. Now remember, the B-League record for three-pointers is nine. And that was made by Devontae Gardner for the Mikawa Seahorses. At the moment, Yuki Tsukashi does have eight. So he's two away from breaking the record tonight. Well, another foul has been called, so it will be was coming up here for the Chiba Jets. They are in the penalty at the moment. Well, no. Yeah, they are. Excuse me, they are. Well point lead to Chiba. Trying to go down low here. Lavanga Hokkaido again. They are just choking under intense pressure. Well, Mackie Butler, sorry I didn't see your message there on the live YouTube chat. No, there won't be another game after this, but there will be one tomorrow. There'll be a couple actually tomorrow for that matter. It's live here on the YouTube chat. Thank you, Chris Delisian, for being fantastic and filling me in why I missed that message. Chris Delisian, everybody, is the MVP. B League fan. 12 point deficit. 16 seconds difference between game and shot clock. Trying to penetrate now. Willis hits a much needed three point, and that cuts it down to single digits. They need some inspiration. Chiba will get the last shot here of the third quarter. It's now we're under 10 seconds. Ira coming up one screen, finds Ira Brown. Brown penetrates, goes up, gets rejected by St. Dwight. And that goes into the VIP section and the accredited media zone. Well, Basel fans, end of third quarter. 
It is indeed an eight point lead. Nine point lead, excuse me, to Lavanga Hawkeye as we get ready for the final 10 minutes. This Eastern Conference matchup here in the B League between Chiba Jets and Lavanga Hokkaido. Well, we're about to get the third and final quarter underway. Fourth and final quarter. Well, Ryan Uyeki's asked the question, who is the best player here? Well, the best player, in my opinion, Japanese best player would be Yuki Togashi, the point guard for number two for Chiba Jets in red. I'd say the best player import-wise would probably be, oh, that's a tough one, Daryl Willis for Lavanga Hokkaido, maybe John Moody for the Chiba Jets, but here comes Willis now. Oh, Willis overpassing, it probably should have gone up with it. That's another turnover. And it's fair to say that they have self-destructed here in the third quarter, and Yo, he's got to be disappointed because they started the game off so well. Well, I think they're going to review this now to see who got the final touch. Well, Lita Valoria, Dwight's right there. He's on the floor. I'm not sure if Dwight has been struggling from an injury or he hasn't featured so much today. Oh, great job there. They got it off in time before the end of the shot clock. So two free throws coming up here for Lavenga Hokkaido. Right off the inbound. Just at the dying moments of the shot clock. Raleigh misses the free throw, and Yuta Matsushita's got to step up and make these ones. A 
Another three point. So Gashi comes up, and now he's tied this season's record for most three pointers in a game. Yes, eight three pointers for Yuki Togashi. Well, the season record was made by Devontae Gardner for the Mikawa Seahorses. Jamal Brooks is able to cut it back down. Now, the all time B League record is actually 11 three pointers in a game. That was made by Kanemaru. So Tagashi needs one three-pointer to set the record this year. He needs four more to set the all-time B-League record. Well, free throws coming up here for the Chiba Jets. Again, a beautiful response there from the Lavenga Hokkaido. Chipping into the deficit, trying to stay in this game. That's going to be the crucial factor here in the fourth quarter. They've got to keep it below single digits. But they need stops here on defense. That's going to be an offensive foul. Good defense. Well, Shuto Terazono doing things on both ends of the floor for the Jets. Well, can they get something here? Trailing by nine points. Anything just to give them that confidence they need. Under 10 here on the shot clock. Arizona may be getting away with a carry, but again, it's just a poor shot. Well, the hesitation on that shot selection did affect it in the end. Arrow penetrates. Almost gets a deflection, but it's going to be 14 on the clock. Chiba will get this one back. Well, another turnover now. Can La Vega Hokkaido get something? Lewis Pops goes up, gets the M1. Well, he'll go the free throw line at shots to make this. A six point deficit. Well, he went into the Eurostep, drew the foul against Shutahara. And he converts a three-point play. Lavanga Hokkaido trying to hang in there at the moment. Once he actually penetrates, he goes in and can't get it, but an offensive rebound by Mooney. Yeah, just can't get it, but Xavier Cooks. Jets at the moment just a little bit more hungry. Going out to every second chance point. Another foul's committed. No, it's an offensive foul. Wow. Yuki Togashi infuriated. Well, we felt that should have been an offensive foul, but they're going to call it still. 
And he tells the referee, I didn't do it. I didn't commit the foul. I should be going to the free throw line. Lavango with another chance at the chip into this deficit. Three possession game potentially. Finds Willis on the back door. Willis bumps. No foul calls. Xavier Cooks comes up with it. Now, Chiba don't need to rush anything here. Just need to be patient in their offense. When a foul has been committed. It's only going to be the second team foul against Lavango Hakaido. Well, as Zez just said, Togashi Hayop Panis. Well, we saw that in the first quarter. He's tied the B-League record this season for most three-pointers. Nishimura, no problem. That is Uiana Hayop Panis. Well, good timing, as Zez. That's back to a nine-point ball game. 6.30 above just to go. There's a floater, tries to go off the backboard, too strong. Now Chiba. Another three goes flying, but again, nothing connecting there for Chiba. That's where the tempo is going to be real crucial here in the final moments. But another turnover. I mean, what is going on? You got to take care of the basketball. Throwing a pass like that is almost throwing a prayer. You got to be clever. Composure is what's needed. Oh, Gala Saito coming in the game. Well, welcome to my friend Gabi Chiyono Fuji. What's up, brother? Maligai and Bagdating. Kai Bigan. A well, long time no see, brother. Hope you're well, Gabby. Well, Gabby Chiano Fuji's been on regular B League basketball. Sometimes he also tunes in when I'm commentating British Basketball League. But he is just like Chris Dallas Young, a true MVP basketball fan. Nishimura down the lane. When he comes up, a well, foul has to be called. So Fumio's going to the free throw line here for two shots. Oh, free throws here for the Chiba Jets. Got to take advantage now. Make this a double digit lead with 558 to go in the fourth quarter. Point lead now to the Chiba Jets. Got to get something in their offense. And Lavenga Hakaido. Again, struggling into the shot clock. I and mean, that's a poor attempt at the offense to get an offensive rebound, but they got to build something big. Willis for three. That's too short. And only Welsh going for offensive rebounds. Well, let's give some shout outs to Lita Valoria, my friend, the MVP, Gabo, Gabby, Chiyono Fuji, my apologies. Sweet little king, Azez, and Boyette, currently watching from the Philippines. And BJ Rufino is in the house. What's up, BJ? Another MVP fan. And he loves Yuki Togashi. Well, BJ, Yuki Togashi's hit eight three pointers. He's tied this season's record for most threes in a game. Javante Gardner, the Mikawa Seahorses. Already hit eight this season, but can Yuki set the record? He's on the bench at the moment. That's going to be Seth Ogawa's inability to create a good pass.
Uh, it's going to be head coach's challenge here. Well, let's have a look at the replay. And while we have this head coach challenge, Basel fans, let us know where in the world you're watching, which team you're supporting. No doubt, of course, many fans of the Philippines tuning in to watch Dwight Ramos, who has been in and out of the game so far this evening, but it is an 11-point lead to the Chiba Jets. Well, bienvenue, bonjour, mon ami, Johnny de Jesus. Comment allez-vous? Maintenant, je travaille euh, comme euh, ces matchs de basket. J'aime le basket japonais. Well, BJ Rufino, I gotta tell you, brother. After this, I've got to drive Mrs. Bet to work, and then I've got to head to London. I've commentated two games in the British Basketball League that will be live and free on YouTube tonight. So tune in tonight, brother. I'll give you another shout out. Always great to have you on the live chat, my friend. Well, it's going to remain Chiba Jets' ball. Well, Hockey 5, kid. Well, how many? Depends. Give me a language and I'll say hello in it. Ah, Johnny. Tu es un Filipino. Voilà. C'est beau. Oh, welcome to Vitske, watching from Ukraine. Hello, brother. How are you? Hope all is well. Well, Douglas Mutembe says, let's go, Chiba. They have an 11-point lead, just over five minutes. Really little teardrop. I get it, but the tip-in is good. And now Chiba have a 13-point lead, and now Lavanga Hokkaido, they call timeout. This could be very well all over unless they turn this one around. Well, again, welcome to all the fans currently watching live. BJ Rufino, yeah, they did lose on the buzzer. I was actually working that night. And welcome to Vincent Lowe watching from Hong Kong. Lei Ho. Well, now, if you're new to B-League basketball, remember, it's three conferences that separate the B-League. So many teams. You have the East, West, and Central Division. Well, there's the foul count right now. Tim Welsh does it four fouls for Lavanga Hokkaido, so he needs to be careful. But going back to what I was saying, it's the top two teams in each division that qualify automatically for the playoffs. So that gives you six teams, while the final remaining two positions go to the teams with the best records outside the playoff spots, and they're known as the wild cards. And currently, Chiba Jets, who had the best record last season, even though they lost in the finals to the Riku Golden Kings, they're quite behind in third spot of the East Conference, so they're going to have to try and go for that wild card slot this year in the playoffs. There's a penetration. Almost turned it over. Willis is going to get called. No, foul's going to be called against. Yeah. I thought they were going to call a travel, but no. Wow. Change the pivot foot. And two free throws. Both teams are in the penalty.
12 points difference. Finds Moody down the lane, makes the contact again, gets the at one. John Moody going to the free throw line. Well, beautiful execution coming from Fumio Nishimura. That's just how it's gone here in the fourth quarter, second half of that matter. One shot. Chance now to make this a 15 point ball game. Moody converts a free throw. Oh, nice rejection again. Beautiful defense. Well, Chiba looked like they're going to run away with this one. They're in total control. Well, they just turn it right back over. You can see that Kane Chica trying to go back door. John Moody probably should have identified that one. Well, four minutes left, down by 15. It's quite a big margin. So they're going to make a comeback. They've got to do it now. Well, they had the wide open three, but shot release just too slow. Bush trying to find Willis. Good help side defense, another turnover. And John Patrick to the smile, which tells you everything's going okay. What a basketball coach. Remember, John Patrick in 2005-06 was the head coach of Alvac Tokyo. Then he went to Germany where he became a legend in the city of Ludwigsburg, taking them to two FIBA basketball champs in Final Fours. Three point goes missing there for Chiba. He's just one of the greatest coaches in international basketball, John Patrick. Another turnover. Oh no, they're gonna keep this one alive. So come on, Tagashi. Yuki Togashi's gotta get one more three-pointer. Set the record this season. He's tied the record already with eight three-pointers. Devontae Gardner did set it already. For the Mikawa Seahorses. Eight three-pointers. Can he set a season record? Oh, he got to get something going here. Trying to make sure they don't fall too short. We'll finish that by Tim Welsh. Oh, it is Togashi time. Oh, Moody fires a three. It's up, and it's good. John Moody firing in from all cylinders. 2.52 to go. Lavanga, Hokkaido. They call timeout. Well, they left Mooney wide open. They took the gamble, and the big man just said, I'll knock this one down. Well, I would like to give some shout-outs to people watching live on YouTube. So shout-out to Rushley, BJ Rufino. Shout-out to Sweet Little Queen. So well, Chowder, thank you for covering that. Yeah, three imports plus one Asian import plus a naturalized player. Or either one. Or, you can either have an Asian import or a naturalized player. A naturalized player is, you know, a foreign player in Japan who's given a Japanese passport. And the question from Eric Asimui. What kind of game is this? I don't know how to answer that question. That's a tough one. I mean, well, this is a game of basketball. You have five players on the court for each team. Put it together, it's ten players. They bounce the ball on the floor. They try to put the ball in the rim. 
and whoever gets the whoever gets more times of those, so whoever gets the most points, every time the ball goes in the bucket, it's a point or two points, three points. Whoever gets the most of those usually is the team a winner. So that that's what kind of game it is—a game of basketball. Vanga Hakaido struggling here from the field. Oh, Kanachika D3, back iron, can't get it. Tagashi, another three, just can't go. He wants to set that rank a big time. Oh, what a game it's been so far here for Chiba Jet. Well, a team like Lavenga Hokkaido, when you are at the bottom of. The Eastern Conference, and you got some great teams in this division. It's always tough. I mean, no doubt, of course, they've got some great players. It's just finding consistency as a team. Well, Shutahara trying to make the penetration down the middle, finds Moody. Big man goes up, misses, but gets a tip back. Well, that's a case of Lavenga Hokkaido having their very last donut. But nobody called box out. And another turn of 149 to go, and that's just how this game has gone. Kanachika trying to make a penetration. Hara gets in the paint, uses that strike to make this guy as strong as an ox when he penetrates. It's not easy to take on that big man, Tara Willis. Now we're in the 90 seconds to go. She was definitely going to turn things around this season. They desperately need to if they're going to try and make themselves another championship contender. Disappointment and heartbreak last season when they made it to the final, losing to the Ruku Golden Kings. Well, Chiba currently sitting behind the Utsunami of Brex and Alvac Tokyo and a BEA beautiful penetration by Yuki Togashi. Well, Alvac Tokyo's record 25 and 4 this season. Utsunami of Brex 23 and 6. And at the moment, Chiba's going to go to 20, 17 and 13, excuse me. All changes coming in for the Chiba Jets. Well, Toby making the sub here. Getting some minutes at the end. Great experience for these young players. That's one thing you got to appreciate about John Patrick. I mean, he's a player, uh, excuse me, he's a coach. It's always planning for the future for any team he coaches. Well, Marcus Tobin into the game for the first time tonight. There's a penetration down the middle again. He easily lays that one up. And Marcus Tobin getting the first two points of the evening. And there's another penetration, but it's all a consolation here for Lavenga Hokkaido. It's been a tough game for them tonight. Well, I want to say, Basel fans, we do thank you for joining us here for Japanese B-League Basketball. DJ Stephens tries a three-point and can't get it. But it will be Chiba Jets who are going to pick up the 17th victory of the season. A phenomenal performance on this team. It's all over. Chiba Jets win this 98-79 to against Lavenga Hokkaido. What a game by the Sheriff, Yuki Togashi.
Well, we are going to show you some stats and then some highlights from this game, but a phenomenal performance. We'll also hear from the MVP, head coach, and captain of the Chiba Jets. But a huge shout out to that man, Yugi Tsugashi. Brilliant as always for this magnificent team. Oh, it's been a tough turnaround for them. Losing a lot of their players from last year, but, you know, having to make do with a new team. They can see the Lavengo Hokkaido players paying their respects to the home crowd. Well, BJ Rufino, see you there, brother. Like I said, tonight I'm live on the British Bass League, the back to back games tonight. So tune in. I'll give you a shout out, as always, my friend. And get ready for the Basketball Champions League round of 16. You got it, bro. Christella Siong, Dui Tashimashite, Walang Anuman. Thank you as always, Christella Siong, BJ Rufino, and Gabby Chionofuji, MVP fans are in every day, or every week that is, for B-League Basketball. Well, we're going to hear now from head coach John Patrick of the Chiba Jets. Let's hear what he has to say. We'll get it translated. Well, those were the words of head coach John Patrick. And what he renowned his team for and paid them homage was the defense in the second half, but also mentioned the return of Shutahara was a huge inspiration for his team's victory today. Well, now we're going to listen here from the sheriff, Yuki Tsugashi. John Patrick also saying that they haven't lost so far here in the new year. Things turning around, but now here's Yuki, 42 points. そうですね。はい、あの、素晴らしいお手本を毎日ね、見てるので、はい、こうやって超えられたことすごく嬉しいです。はい、あの、ずっと言ってますけど、ね、今シーズンめちゃくちゃ休んでるので、これからね、しっかり働いてもらって、はい、あのね、これから練習していけるように、はい、頑張りたいなと思います。はい、ありがとうございました。高橋健
もちろんですあのそれが力になりましたありがとうございますはいありがとうございますあそしてあのさっき戸隠キャプテンからもちょっと休んでた分これからしっかり働いてもらおうっていうコメントありましたがその辺はいかがでしょうはいあの多分九試合ぐらいしか出てないのであのその分働きます頑張りますなのであの戸ヶ原グッズ買ってくださいはいじゃあ改めてブースターの皆さんに一言あの帰ってきたと込めてメッセージお願いします。えー、あのまだまだ優勝も狙いますしあのチャンピオンシップ出場も狙えると思うのであのここからチームを引っ張っていきたいと思うので応援よろししくお願いしますありがとうございましたジャンボケット2人目は原修太選手でしたそれでは原選手にもジャンボケットクッションにサインを入れていただきますなおこちらクッションの当選者今ビジョンにて発表いたしますのでご確認くださいまたこちら公式 X そして1回インフォメーションにも発表してますので合わせてご確認ください今一度今日のジャンボ君賞富樫勇樹選手そして原修太選手の大きな拍手をお送りくださいさあそれでは最後に行きましょう勝利の月締め今日はマークが Well we heard from Yuki Tagashi prior and he said I made nine three pointers I aimed to make a new record but I gave up in the second quarter While Shutahara said I heard you yell and I only played nine games a season but I'm gonna fight now to get back to where I was before All celebrations all over here in Japan, the beautiful town of Chiba, just outside Tokyo. It was a big, big victory for this team. Well, again, you got to think it was a season record for three pointers for Yuki Togashi. Just a phenomenal performance from him. So now Shutahara just gives a signature to the camera, along with Yuki Togashi. Those two teammates, brothers in arms for the Japanese national team and for their club team. Phenomenal job by both of them here this evening. Just an unbelievable game of basketball for that matter. Well, they both played out. They both balled. I mean, got to give credit where credit's due. And they haven't lost so far here in the new year. And I think they've just had to adapt to playing not only in the Japanese B-League, but also in the East Asia Super League as well. Because, I mean, it puts a lot of games on these players. Then also you got the FIBA window, which many of them will feature for Japan. Well, going to relive and show you the highlights from this game. Phenomenal performance from Chiba Jets. Well, you got to ask the question. Consistency just needs to be the thing for Lavenga Hokkaido. I mean, they played very well in the first half, in the first quarter especially. Well, they were getting good looks from the perimeter, nailing down the threes. But they just weren't able to maintain that for four quarters. Shudahara's return to the Chiba Jets has been a massive influence for this team. Remember, he was a part of that championship team back in 2021. When they defeated Utsunamiya Brex in the final. Well, that was the one of the many three-pointers by Yuki Togashi in the first quarter. Well, this man was unconscious, to say the least. He didn't feel like missing any threes tonight, that's for sure. When Yuki's confident, there's nothing that stops this man.
Well, that's the kind of game it was for Shutahara. His reintroduction to this team really did help them out, to say the least. And that's what they missed all season. And he hasn't played too many games so far this year. That three-pointer made it to a one-point ball game at halftime, but as you mentioned, consistency. Well, this is how Lavenga Hokkaido started the second half. They got a three-pointer. You kind of felt this was going to be back and forth between these two teams, but they really did shut down in the third quarter. Followed by John Mooney not getting the M1. Well, this is Darrell Willis. I don't think you're ever going to get a more wide-open dunk here in the B-League. Well, Ogawa came into the game, played some very good minutes here for Chiba. Well, look at the defense here by Ogawa, making it very tough. The rejection by DJ Steffens. Steffens just that kind of player. And that was beautiful basketball by the Jets. And there was Yuki Togashi. As always, the nine three pointer the record made. Well, here was the M1 play. This cut it down to a six-point ball game. But there was no way back here for Lavanga Hakaido at this point. Now it's another three-pointer. Finding Mooney here off the pick and roll. Well, Mooney's probably one of the best in the B League at this. Nishimura getting the assist. But those were the desperately needed two points for Lavanga Hakaido, but. At that point, it was really just all over. Well, Tagashi just making it look too easy. 42 points tonight for that man. Unbelievable performance. And it was all over as Chiba Jets pick up the 17th victory and remain undefeated in the calendar year of 2024. Well, big win for John Patrick and his players. It's now going to break down the stats. Well, I mean, you look at that 23 combined three-pointers from these two teams, shooting 40% and above. That's impressive. Eight missed free throws full of Enga Hokkaido. Not that that would have made too much of a difference, but it's the field goals inside the paint. Xavier Cooks, not to mention John Mooney, just a phenomenal player. Well, the turnovers does say a lot about this. Lavanga Hokkaido committing one too many turnovers in the second half, and that really did affect them. Probably something that they needed to have cleaned up a lot better. But when you have a player like Togashi, 42 points, that says it all right there. It's probably fair to say that any given night that Lavanga Hokkaido plays like this, they would have been probably much better, but... When you're up against a guy like Togashi, who just was on fire, it's almost impossible. Well, there are the other games coming up in the B-Leagues. Well, the B-League, excuse me. Game 2 back-to-backs will be tomorrow. You can catch some of those live here on YouTube. English commentary provided by B-League International. San and Neo Phoenix getting a big victory again, making themselves championship contenders. And who knows, 
Maybe they will progress and get the championship DNA they deserve. They've played so well this year. Led by 30, Ravenna. Well, Basel fans, we would like to say sayonara, ayasu minasai. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye and good night. We'll see you tomorrow for more B-League games. Brought to you by B-League International.